tonight, a Richmond woman facing charges after an eight month old child died under her watch at her unlicensed daycare. 36 year old Shantae Griffey is charged with reckless supervision. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik explains what led to the baby's death and the ways child care experts say similar tragedies can be prevented. Court documents detail that January morning, an eight month old child's mother dropped him off at Shante Griffey's home here in Richmond. The child played for a few hours before Griffey put him in a sleep sack swaddle and laid him down for a nap. Later that afternoon, dispatch received a call that the eight month old boy wasn't breathing. Emergency responders arrived to Griffey's home and found her giving the baby boy CPR. Despite numerous life-saving efforts, he later died. According to court documents, Griffey initially found the boy with his face in a blanket and nursing pillow and still in his swaddle. And based on those court records, instructions on the swaddle included warnings like never place anything in with your baby in their sleep space and stop swaddling when your baby shows signs of rolling over or breaking out of swaddling. It also advised swaddles should only be used for newborn to three month old babies. Records show Griffey was watching eight children who weren't hers that day. If you uh, take care of five children or less in the state of Indiana, you are exempt from licensing. Anything over five children is when you're operating illegally. Molly Smith with Child Care Answers says it can be hard for parents to find adequate caretakers these days. She says it's only gone worse since the pandemic. Families are really attempting to find care that is quality care that is close to them and meets their needs, um, including affordability, but yet there's not nothing available at this time. Smith says that's especially the case for infant and toddler care. Whether parents choose a daycare or home care, Smith encourages parents to ask lots of questions that include sleeping arrangements. Where will my child be sleeping? Uh, will my child have a designated area or is it something that my child may be moved in a, a different room from time to time, depending on how many other children are there? Will they be sleeping in the same space as other children? Is there an adult present? Uh, that will be checking in on them. Smith also encourages parents to tour the home or daycare for yourself first. She also says there are plenty of helpful resources out there if you're searching for a spot. Child Care Answers is one of five across the state. There's a child care resource and referral for every county in Indiana. And we have family engagement specialists that work with families who are looking for child care. In addition to new charges, the Indiana Family and Social Service Administration ordered Griffey to stop operating an unlicensed child care home. In Richmond, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.